The documentary, The El Duce Tapes, was one of these really fascinating yet off-putting documentaries. The subject matter at the heart of it was really kind of off-putting as you had this band, The Mentors, led by El Duce, a, a group who came out in black executioner hoods, who promoted misogyny, homophobic nature, racism. They just liked to push any kind of buttons that they possibly could. If they could offend somebody, then they wanted to do it. Not out of a sense of, of, of upsetting people, but more just to see the reaction, just to see people get upset. Not that they truly believed in a lot of the things that they were saying, but the fact that it had an effect on people seemed to be uh, the dragon that they were chasing. It is all about the lead character of Il Duce, a kind of alcoholic, uh, horrible person who just has a horrible manner about him. And as we see through these tapes that were filmed back in 1991 and 92, we really see a character who uh, is, is just shocking, who is damaged uh, and, uh, and kind of almost rotten in certain aspects, but is deeply flawed and we follow this character and his misgivings through a, a time where he was promoted primarily because of the actions that he was taking but his main aim was to drink, get alcohol in his system and to have a lot of fun and we get to interview various people around about his world at that time and see their idea of it being within the circle and to see the effects that it had on some people out with of this circle as well. And El Duce is a really fascinating character as he's someone who, throughout the movie, you, you kind of see the facade slipping away at certain points and a, an honest beat coming out uh, that, that gives you an insight into the character, into his home life, which is no excuse for his actions, but it somewhat comes to reason why he became the person that he became. Uh, misunderstood, misogynistic, this rape rock that he promotes was all designed just to get attention, just to cause people anguish, to, to, to antagonise the world, and it's what this character does. Now the filmmaking at heart here is all filmed from uh, tapes that were discovered a few years ago and put together, and these tapes were filmed over a two year period, and it really does give you an insight into this period, this time, and all the things that were going along with it. And because you don't have anybody um, retrospectively looking back or to, trying to rationalise it, you get a straight insight to this period, this time, and these people, um, most of whom seem to have a somewhat level head. Some of them who just seem to be easing through life causing as much difficulty to other people as they positively can and it's a truly kind of shocking movie you never attune to the character of El Duce. you never feel that he's someone who made the right choices in fact it almost appears that every wrong choice that he possibly could have that's the path that he took to lead him to where he is now and you see his dependence on alcohol, his uh, revelance in shocking the world and it just kind of leaves you with that icky feeling. But every now and again you get a twinge of sadness about this character as you hear something or he opens up just a little bit too much before pulling that curtain closed and lets out a glimmer of, of resentment and remorse to the way that he has acted or things have been done to him. The Old Duchy Tapes is a tough watch. It's one that is kind of shocking and bewildering that this character got as much uh, airtime as he did, got as, as much fandom as he did, and what ultimately happens to him is truly shocking as well. But if you're looking for something a little bit out of the norm, a little bit different, a little bit twisted, the Old Duchy Tapes is that kind of documentary. I'd love to know your thoughts on this kind of movie and indeed about the whole culture. Let me know in the comment box below. I'll see you next time. Man V Film.